Look, I'm sorry that you caught a bullet, but hey, you're already dead. What do you care? Oh, hey, Burning Dog fans. Welcome back to Let's Play Doom. We're here uh, on our way to the Argent Facility, or maybe this is the Argent Facility. It's kind of unclear to me. And I've just come across this little juicy toy. Delicious. Strawberry flavored. I wonder if there's enough to get all of those things to max a few. Why did that happen? I think he didn't give you a flashlight in this game on purpose, because, well, you know. Of all the things to become controversial. Of all the goddamn things. Doom 3 comes out, it's really, really fucking dark. They give you a flashlight, but they don't let you use it at the same time as your weapon. So if I can sum this up quickly. You have to switch to do it and be defenseless, except for like a really shitty melee attack. And pretty much immediately, someone puts out a mod for the game called the Duct Tape Mod. Because a lot of people think it is totally ridiculous that, uh, you know, a space marine would not be able to not have the ingenuity to go find a fucking supply closet and uh, duct tape his uh... nice and uh, duct tape his uh, flashlight to the side of his rifle or something Hell no! I'm gonna need this. You know what? Fuck you. Ah! Oh, I am torn because I can see the use for... Close enough. I'll count it! He stabbed him with the pointy end of his gun! Fucking... I have chunked myself. And, uh... Oh yes, the duct taped thing. That's what I was talking about. Uh, they... And you know, for years, people argued over whether... You know, should we respect the designer's original wishes and play the game without the thing on? Or should we use the duct tape mod and make it easier to actually play the game? Like, the... You know, that did not happen by accident. They wanted you to be have to choose at any given... You know, it's a horror game, Doom 3. So they wanted you to have to choose between the actual safety of having a, a gun in your hand or the psychological safety of having a light in your hand and being able to see around you. Cool. Oh, that's what those are. Huh. They're cargo lifters. Soon, you guys will make skids completely obsolete, and I approve of that. 
<laughs> that was really dumb, given that it's glowing. Oh, right. Uh, I'll leave that until I use up all my... How did I get in here? No, no, I'm getting way lost. I need to retract my steps and go set right what once went wrong. So yeah, the duct tape mod was a thing. Oh, I guess you're one of the Argent filters. Well, while I'm here, uh, I'm gonna walk away. Psych! Where am I fucking going? Ah, right. Well... They didn't put it out on the 10-year anniversary, which I always thought was weird. But... Eventually, they did put out an HD remaster of, uh, Doom 3. Entitled Doom 3 BFG Edition. And by the way, I don't know how it's taken me this long to mention this, but I have previously done a Let's Play of that game. So you can check that out if you so desire. I'm surprised I'm not, you know, more damaged than I am. That. Hello? Hello? Hell Knight? Anyone? Well, I still win. I'm just saying. Okay, now we'll go check out that other thing, I guess. And the thing about Doom 3 BFG Edition is that in that game, they, uh... They changed the flashlight. Rather than being something you, uh, have to switch to, they announced that in Doom 3 BFG Edition, the flashlight would be shoulder-mounted, just strapped to your armor. So you press the flashlight button to toggle it on and off, and, uh, I guess in order to balance it out, they gave it a, uh, a limited battery that recharges over time. As opposed to, you know, being able to have the light on forever, but you're unarmed when you do it. that other area I was in. Not there. Now we're talking. Let's totally ignore the demons from hell that are chasing me. Just stand right here and wait. So funny. Ooh. Oh, drat. It's almost full for this gun, too. That was a weird noise, and I didn't like it. I'm up here now. Ooh! Mmm, tasty runes. Let me at it! Oh, again with this. Let me in. Oh, 
Armed with the pistol, destroy 30 barrels before time expires. Dazed and confused. Increases how long demons remain in a stagger state. Fuck yeah. Oh, come on. Where's the hell screen? Oh, these are barrels. Absolutely equipping that one. Are you kidding me? I barely have time to set up the, uh, the... God damn it, what is it called? The Death from Above glory kills for, uh, Hell Knights. Tough bastards, aren't they? Oh! The rocks is dead, I guess. I don't want... Fine! Recovery again. What are the ones in here? I'm deliberately not looking at the other ones and sitting and curious. Huh, it's like the game is reacting to me. See, that upgrade really helps when it makes it go faster to load up faster. We're only temporarily disabling the tower. You need to remove each lens individually. Carefully release the hinges. Warning. Energy contamination detected. Destroying the production of Argent energy isn't necessary. He has way more patience than I would have. Carefully remove the hinges. Yeah, I remember, I, as soon as I saw that, I just thought to myself, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Didn't I do that already? down All right Hey there you are You didn't need that anyway Look how much happier you are now that you're dead. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Shoot him vigorously about the face and chest! Nope. I've been circle strafing since Wolfenstein 3D. You guys have nothing on me. The fuck? 
Oops. Excuse me. That is not what I thought was going to happen. I thought I could shoot past him, but I guess not. Oh, chainsaw fuel. Break his one good arm. Really? Ah. Uh. Shit. Damn it! I was adjusting my chair. Give me your health! out for a slippery sign that they stuck over here. They must have smashed these guys into pulp. Look how thick it is in the ground. That's nasty. I think there was a health kit around here somewhere. Ever notice you never see anyone trip over their own feet when they're a video game character? Well, you just see the Doom guy running along and all of a sudden he just randomly eats shit because the floor is slippery. Not even because it's slippery, he trips over his heel or something. What have I got in here? Hydroponics? Knock him down, my bad. Why did I get that? Just for being awesome? Ah! Thank you. Me. Oh, it's just everything, okay. I saw the handle of this thing and thought I could pick it up. You got a hammer. <laughs> now you can hammer nails. That is interesting. We're not going that way, so... Where did that drone... Curious. Well, maybe that's where I get the morph ball upgrade. Oop! Yeah, over here... How do I... I don't think that's it. No, oh, they're just test tubes. They're just extremely shiny, glisteny test tubes. I don't think the, the reflection is supposed to look like that. But that's okay. Weird display things give a game charm. There you are! Uh, this one. What? Oh, god damn it. I'm, why, why isn't it working? No, I'm just going on the wrong fucking part. That's why. Heat blast! Uh huh? Noted. I have heard this is extremely useful. 
one of the spoilery comments said that uh, it takes down engineers' shields. Purchase with quotation marks. Thank you. Stun bomb. This modification condenses multiple plasmoids into a single pulse. The resulting discharge exceeds the Franheiser limit, creating a string of Birkeland currents. I have no idea if either of those are references anything. The resulting filamentary structure will incapacitate any target caught within the radius for a few seconds. The modification requires cooling between uses. Just checking. Well, there's my timer, so that'll about do it. Once again, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Doom. When we continue kicking ass and taking names, frankly. Later! <laughs>